Hey Aries, so we're doing something a little different today. I'm not in my usual reading spot, okay? Because there's too much noise down there. I tried to read down there and it was too much going on. I should have did my reading at 4 a.m. like I usually do, but I had something else going on. So I am here and I'm on camera trying something new. Um, also this would be for love, singles, Depending on what spirit wants to pop out, it's going to pop out. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, this will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You can also check your North Node and your Jupiter. It just depends on whatever works for you. It won't resonate with every Aries, okay? And also people have free will, you guys. So, you know, energy changes all the time. And I know sometimes people don't like to hear that. Like, because they hear, oh, this person's going to contact you today. And then they don't because, you know, the energy change they have free will to change their mind okay um yeah so we're gonna get started and i always appreciate you guys watching and if this resonates with you hit that like hit that subscribe and you guys are really good with leaving comments and stuff too so we got the seven of cups and bear with me guys because i'm using my phone to record it's just been one of those mornings. Okay, and then judgment. All right, yeah. And then we have the hierophant. Okay, so, hmm. So usually with the hierophant is some type of marriage. Like, were you were you guys married? Or are you thinking about mar getting? married with the hierophant and the seven of cups i feel like you guys um maybe have some some options for marriage mm. and with the judgment here too that one's all of these kind of go together and all, all of these cards came out together all three of these came out together so uh yeah i feel like some of you guys are dating and looking for a, a spouse and you, you more than likely have some options to do so but we'll see we'll see what else is going to come out oh thank you spirit pop right out all right so we got the empress we got temperance we got the lover see i told y'all yeah something going on around here but we got the five of wands so there could have been some past conflict going on. Some some conflict from the past. We'll see, though. But you got the tempers here, the Hierophant. Um, yeah, you guys are... Yeah. You definitely want marriage. If someone wants marriage with you, especially with this Empress here, somebody sees you as marriage material. Spirit, give me the energy for Aries singles. Spirit, give me the energy for Aries singles. Spirit, give me the energy for Aries singles. Okay. <laughs> the Nine of Cups. Y'all listen. Some of you guys are going to get your wish fulfillment through from, from some of the choices that you have. The Seven of Cups can also be uh, wishful thinking, too. But if you look at the card, it to me, when I see the Seven of Cups, it kind of looks like this person has a whole lot of options. Like, you see how he's looking up? He's like, oh, I got that one, and I got that one, and I got that one. That's kind of how I look at the Seven of Cups. So, um, yeah. Y'all definitely have, have some options. And one of those options might see you as marriage material or vice versa. You see somebody, someone as marriage material and, um, or you're looking for someone to marry. I can't make it up, y'all. <laughs> the will of fortune. Yeah. So I feel like with this five of wands here, this might have been your love life in the past. This might be y'all's energy from the past. Arguing conflict competing with each other bickering you know um maybe not maybe really not picking people that 
are um, suitable for you. I will say that. So I feel like you guys are getting a little bit more choosy in who you choose with this empress here. This empress, you guys are getting a lot more um, choosy about who you pick. And it's paying off. It is definitely paying off. You're going to get your wish fulfillment for sure. Spirit, give me the energy for Aries Singles. Spirit, give me the energy for... Okay, there we go. See, we... Oh, yeah. So, we got the Page of Swords. And we got the Queen of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like you guys are looking for someone that's financially stable. You're looking for someone that is uh, that has a really good balance. That's balanced within themselves. They're not chaotic. They're not argumentative. Um, someone that has um, self control, discipline, things like that. Yeah, you y'all's y'all's luck and love is turning around. We got the star. You guys might be in the limelight or the person that is coming into your life might be in the limelight. Um, but whoever this person is, is uh, your soulmate. This this might be, this page of swords here, this might be um, someone that knows you already. But don't know you know you you know they might be like on your social media or something just kind of watching you scoping peeking going through your pics liking all your pictures and stuff and doing all this other stuff you know stuff that you like anyway aries spirit give me the energy for aries singles I'm not seeing any past energy here. I see this is a new person. Because we have the lovers. We have the hierophant. This, this, when I see this together, this is marriage. The hierophant and the lovers, that is marriage. The empress, marriage. I mean, it's just marriage, marriage, marriage. So, or this could be a committed relationship. So you guys are really going to be either committed soon to someone that you're kind of seeing or you're going to be meeting someone that you're going to eventually commit to and it's going to be a nine of cups wish fulfillment kind of situation but your love and luck is your love and luck <laughs> your luck and love is turning around guys like yeah your luck and love is turning around with this will of fortune it's it's turning around for the better you, you're getting out of this five of wands conflict, bickering, you know, back and forth energy that y'all that y'all may have been having with people, and and you're you're getting into something blissful and nice <laughs> and um, financially stable. Whoever this person is is financially stable. Might be dealing with an earth sign. Um, might be dealing with a Libra, uh, a Gemini. Uh, yeah. So I feel like, so you got the Ten of Swords. See what I'm saying? Okay, so when we see, when we have the Ten of Swords here, sometimes with this, with all these little thingies stabbing them in the back, sometimes people think that this is like, you know, misfortune or backstabbed or whatever. But this is also coming out of uh, ruin this is coming out of this energy you know what i mean so this this is like like picking yourself up right this this is coming out of a bad situation or coming out of bad thoughts or negative thinking or whatever we got the emperor Let's see oh. didn't i say hold up rewind the video because i'm trying to remember Did, didn't i say soulmate earlier didn't I say soulmate earlier? The emperor and the empress. There's they both here. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, um, 
the six of wands it coming in see i told y'all listen <laughs> Aries, I'm loving this reading. I'm like loving every single second of it. Like, wow. You got the Ace of Pentacles. See what I'm saying? This this is something new and solid coming in. Somebody is new. Somebody is solid. Somebody is financially stable. Somebody is a leader with this, with this emperor here. They're a leader. They might be really like um, well-known the star and the emperor they might be really well uh, 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 might be really well known in the community and then you got the knight of cups it doesn't get any more uh clear than that you got the knight of cups someone wants to offer you love so like i said this is somebody that might know you already now this is not for everyone it may not be uh, somebody that you know right now this this could be someone that you might you know you scroll through your friends list and you start accepting friend requests or whatever then they start watching you and then they decide to you know contact you or whatever so i'm going to pull from the love oracle um so <laughs> wow like <laughs> i'm loving this yeah you guys are definitely going to meet someone you're going to meet somebody. So, um, yeah. So, oh, so we have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in the relationship. Now, when I see this, I think of this five of wands energy. And go back to the beginning of the reading with the seven of cups. You may have been with someone that you thought was a soulmate you thought was a soulmate but all that arguing and stuff it kind of um you were kind of wishful thinking with them as well you were like okay well you know things we go through things in relationships things happen and you know so i think with the deception i think you may have made might have even convinced yourself that whoever you were dealing with in the past or these people that aren't really making you feel good or aren't really building you up are your soulmate and I think with when you started changing your mentality and started changing the way that you pick people, things changed all the way around. Or things will change, guys. You guys can, this could still be in the present. Like, this could be telling you that you need to start changing the way that you view relationships and love. And, and partners. Because sometimes, you know, with fire signs, Sometimes you guys get wrapped up in that passion and all those arguments and stuff. You know, over time, it's not healthy, you guys, and it, it ages you too, okay? <laughs> so you kind of need to, like, watch out for that. But there's definitely someone else that wants to come in and um, deal with you. And this could be someone you know now, like I said. This could be someone that could be watching you. This could be someone that you may have recently exchanged numbers with. But this is not, I don't feel like this is someone that, um, you've known for a long time. Now, it could be. Take it how it resonates, Aries. So, here, give me the energy for Aries. Singles. Spirit, so give me the energy for Aries singles. A past life relationship. Yeah, for sure. This is someone from your past life. It's also your soulmate. For sure, this whoever this person is, and I and you'll know Aries, you know, you will know. I think you may have just kind of got, um, kind of got carried away, um, with whoever you were dealing with before, or you know, people that you may have dated in the past. Let your friends help you. Hmm. So I'm wondering, and this kind of popped into my head earlier too, I wonder if this is like an acquaintance of yours. If this is like someone you might see out on the town, um, someone you might have mutual friends with that kind of watches your social media. But that will kind of go into the line of when I said this person might be a friend on Facebook. That's just kind of, you know, peeping, scoping, you know. And then you got passion. Of course, we, I've been talking about passion since the video started. So, yeah. 
allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I think that you guys are going to be very passionate with this person. This person is going to be really passionate, but I think that they're also going to be really solid. So uh, I'm also feeling like don't let the passion overtake um how can I put it? Don't let the passion overtake the relationship because sometimes when we're dealing with someone, it can get stale, it can get boring because there's a lot of pentacle energy here. So it can get stale and it's not really moving, but this person is solid, y'all. It may not, it may not always be, um, it may not always be, uh, passion and, and, you know, it may not always be lit, you know. Sometimes it's going to be kind of slow moving and, and stale, <laughs> but it's not a forever thing, you guys. But this person is, is really, really solid and it's going to bring a lot of, um, it's going to bring a lot of, um, stability to your life that you need. You need this, this stability and you've been wanting it. You've been wanting the stability. soulmate soulmate what i tell y'all <laughs> what did i tell you yeah i'm feeling this reading aries i love this a lot and i really appreciate y'all watching and if this resonates hit that like hit that sub and um leave a comment i love to read y'all's comments and stuff like that and until next time you guys bye